I don't necessarily care about this, but I want to quickly mention it because I don't know. I saw it on BBC News. Um, Stacy Dooley. Um, this is a weird one, right? Um, again, because I'm not necessarily a fan of hers. I've I've watched a couple of her shows, some of her documentaries. I find her supremely boring. Um, she kind of reminds me of a TV version of Zuella, right? The YouTube girl, just you know, nothing offensive about her, nothing um appealing about her just kind of a bit of a bland lady that just kind of you know tries to you know kind of you know people that are bland without a personality and try and do things to make them have a personality right they wear kooky clothes funny trousers do their hair in a certain way maybe use certain kind of slang or lingo go certain places take part in certain activities the permanent gap year student right they're always kind of looking for something when they're going places right looking to find themselves and you know it's just don't have anything in there unfortunately just a bit of a bland um personality bobby but again she does a good job what she does she goes around does documentaries on um on people that aren't as well off as her i'd guess in some way shape or form maybe in some way trying to re you know trying to rebalance the scales of her privilege which i don't know why she does like you can just live your life no one really cares but again you know people want to do things but she got into a bit of a hot water with um that guy that mp david lammy right the one that's always you know rabbiting on about race online and stuff he's a bit annoying he gets him a nerves a bit he's a bit of a virtue signaler and unless and i didn't really get why she bit the bait because i think he's always talking about stuff anyway in general not really doing anything about it he's always got those impassioned speeches where he's about to cry and it's like come on okay cool you're about to cry now what do you know what I mean let's show some action anyway this is a really strange development since the thing so i think she got into some hot bother because she shared a picture on instagram of her with a kid in africa somewhere where she can because i think she's a an ambassador for comic relief so she posted the you know the standard picture that you do when they go to africa like oh my god i can't be super so happy and i don't have anything uh, this is common trope and um of course david lamy got any soapbox like rubbing on about her and then people were complaining she got into a back and forth which she, i thought she won really she did really well so something along the lines about you know if the, if, it, if this is an issue about me being white why don't you go over there and help yourself in it and of course david lamy had nothing to say he's not going to go and help himself is he because he's going to be oh, i'm worried about my constituent mm -hmm. whatever cool standard thing so since then comic relief has now decided they're no longer going to use um celebrities um to front their campaigns or they're not going to no longer maybe use high profile celebrities which probably is a shame because i guess most of the comic relief um donations probably come as a direct consequence with the celebrities they probably attached to right the celebrity kind of sees it as their kind of altruistic moral responsibility they tweet it all the time they share on the social media they take real ownership of it because they feel as if like you know they live their life you know every monday to friday 365 days in the year all about themselves if they can take out some time in this new year to devote it to other people who are more in need they're going to take it a lot seriously so it's a bit of a shame really like they kind of they kind of what's that a kind of their nose despite their face in a kind of way i'm sure it's going to affect their bottom dollar but it's an article from the bbc it says the following stacy Dooley has written a new response to the comic relief white savior row saying her intentions were never sinister which again, I don't think they were. Again, I think she's in incredibly boring. I think she has no personality, which is why she does these crazy documentaries to kind of somehow, you know, draw something out of her. Again, she's like a TV version of Zuella. But I think for what she does do, for, you know, if you're watching primetime television, if you're like an average, regular, schmegular Joe online, watching kind of, you know, whatever nonsense on TV, it's quite cool to have her, you know, lift the lid on some societal issues, whether it's to do youth, whether it's to do a crime, whether it's to do poverty. It's quite cool to see that somebody at least is doing that nowadays, when nowadays we live in this self-absorbed world where everyone's individualistic, just caring about what's in front of them and not what's going around in the wider, wider sense of the world, or maybe being appreciative and understanding that maybe they're quite in a privileged situation and they should stop moaning. So she serves a good purpose i think in general um she's been criticized of making a film in uganda and posting a picture on instagram of her and a black child comic relief announced yesterday that tv appeals uh will be heading in a direction of not using celebrities okay tv appeals which is again doesn't make any sense because why would anyway stacy says she understands the conversation about people she filmed were happy to with her behavior um in february stacy posted that picture there with her with the with a kid somewhere, I don't know, that's Uganda, says obsessed. MP David Lammy criticized Stacey on her film social media posts. She tweeted him in response saying, David, is the issue me being white? Uh, genuine question, because if that's the case, you could always go over there yourself. Burn, boom, mic drop, he didn't answer back. And that's a question that some black people would find hard to answer. I guess if you're an immigrant coming to this country from Africa, the last, you know, the first thing you're worrying about is make sure you put food on your plate. You're escaping from torrid circumstances, situations back home. You have to look at what's happening now in Somalia to realize what, you know, 
the the volatile nature of some nations in africa so when you're coming here the last thing you're thinking about is giving back home and if you are going back home you're going back directly to your own immediate family because you're usually leaving your house in africa to come to europe to seek riches and gold in order to kind of provide for your family back home and the dream is eventually to go back eventually take your whole family back um back where there is the land of milk and honey right that's essentially what you want to do but um it's hard to answer the question in comparison to a white celebrity because again she's going over there with a the full backing of comic relief um bbc other sponsors attaching to her she knows she's only gonna be there for a short time there isn't that personal connection that african people have with that kind of nation where you're going to be a little bit more emotionally attached to it it might be more um there might be more at stake for you if you do fail the criticism will be different if you do fail too from people that are indigenous to the country loads of different um things going on in there right the fact that you know the English have a, a, essentially an imperial history in Africa. The African people kind of see white people as a little bit, you know, above what they are. So it may, might allow some things. It's a weird conversation. But I think in essence, her kind of burn was kind of warranted. Because again, I don't think, I think David Lamy went about it the wrong way. He did try and virtue signal. He could have just called her directly and kind of spoke about the issue. And again, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I think the whole white savior thing is ridiculous. She is really taking time out of her day to go to Africa to help these kids to raise awareness, to raise money for a charity that's essentially going to help this local community. She's keeping in contact with them. I don't really see the problem of it in my way, shape or form. But it continues. Um, Comic Relief co-founder and writer, director Richard Curtis announced yesterday the charity would use fewer celebrities. Stacey posted a new picture this morning with another black woman. She loves black women, isn't it, right? I wonder, wonder if she loves rum and jerk chicken as well. <laughs> um, so he says, um, one of the comments on that picture said... At least um, this black person is old enough to consent. So that issue they had with it, that a kid might not consent. How many pictures of people? How many pictures of people have with other? That's ridiculous. You have to go through everyone's pictures then. People always take pictures of little kids on holiday doing weird things. If you go to Bali, you see a little kid making some weird ornament on the side of the street. People always like take. I don't know what you asking them permission as well. Like bizarre. One of the comments are. Da, da, da. In response, Stacey said, I understand why the conversation that people want to have, and I understand that some are saying they feel it's tired narrative. I get that. What is not okay is people making out we were like somehow sinister in our approach. You know, the funny thing is about this whole conversation. If this was in America, she would have got cancelled time ago. We're a lot better at nuance here in the UK than America, you know. For the SJW stuff that people complain about online on YouTube, we do quite well. I think, um, again, I don't think her responses were that well thought out or that cut in or that intelligent or that well reasoned. She just basically spoke from the heart and said, look, fair enough, right? Maybe the the optics of it look a bit weird, right? A fairly pale girl, blonde, going to Africa and saving these people. I get it, what it looks like. But I went there with a good heart, right? She's just saying to herself. And people are willing to listen to her and have an exchange. If this was in America, they would have tore to strips. They would have got some person from Black Lives Matter to go on the stage and talk to her about her privilege and tell her that she doesn't have a voice and that, you know, she doesn't understand, she doesn't get it. And then everything that she said would have been torn to pieces. A, a, a prominent black entertainer would have come out and stuck the knife in as well and wore a t-shirt with fuck Stacey Dooley on it she would have got torn apart if this is America but in the UK for the most part everyone's kind of you know kind of let it be bygones be bygone but again um it's going back and forth it's not going to end she got confronted at some q a session where some girl tried to question her about it and again i don't really want to get into specific of it because again it's quite boring for me personally i don't really see the problem with it um but hey ho you know stay studio trying to do her thing people don't like it i wish you could get back to a society where if you didn't like the fact that she was funding this charity you just went out and started your own right and just got people that you thought represent that charity better than just maybe trying to de-platform her because i don't think i don't see how that serves anyone the people that need this help the people that are getting and the people that are getting the exposure through to her celebrity which again is gross but it's the nature of the beast they're now you know they're losing out because some person decided that she wasn't quite the right tone of menelin to go and support it's just a weird weird conversation which i don't have any intelligent thing to say about so i'm going to move on <laughs>